So one of the types of firearms that I really like in my inventory is the HK VP9 series handgun. Uh, my wife has one also. This is hers right here on the video. And the one thing that I don't really care for in regards to the VP9 is those weird photoluminescent sights that some of them came from the factory uh, with. They just don't seem to make sense to me. They're really... Uh, the design, I really don't like the sloped back design of those sights. And the photoluminescent type stuff, it just really, to me, there's no real use for it. Uh, it's like a wannabe night sight, but in order for it to be a night sight, you have to shine a bright light on it first to get the, fo the photoluminescence to go, and that just kind of defeats the whole purpose. So what I wanted to do was throw some night sights on. Now, I like night sights. There is a lot of different arguments out there, night sights versus fiber optics versus blackout, whatever. That's really not what this video is about. I prefer night sights. That's just me. It doesn't matter what you go with as long as you train with it. That'll be my little two cents on the issue. Um, but I wanted to throw a set of good night sights on this particular handgun. So I looked around a little bit and I was kind of trying to decide, well, am I going to go with the True Glow Pro Series, which my other HK VP9 that I own has those True Glow Pro Series that came uh, pretty much on the gun when I bought it. And I'll do a separate review on those. Those are actually kind of nice as well. But I didn't know if I want to throw that on this or if I want to do to something like the Trigicon HDs or, you know, something like that. There's a lot of different night sight manufacturers out there. So I did a little bit of looking around and I stumbled upon these guys, the uh, Night Fishing Precision Tritium guys. And they make night sights for a lot of different handguns. I encourage you guys to check them out. Uh, they're reasonably priced, and I'm, I'm gonna leave a link on the description bar below, uh, like I try to usually do, so that way you can check them out for yourself. They're reasonably priced, and they're good quality. So here's the night sights right here, installed on my wife's VP9. They remind me a lot of the Trigicon HD uh, profile. It has a very nice lip right here, which is great for uh, one-handed manipulation. I do like that. I never was a fan of the, uh, I guess you can call it the so-called the so Novak style rear sight. I don't like that at all. Uh, I don't think it serves any type of uh, use or purpose. And I think this just enhances, it gives you something else for your toolbox. So the night sights themselves, the ones that I got were the square notch with the three white dots. Now you do have some options with these guys. You can get a U-notch uh, or the square notch like here, or you can also get the either uh, blacked out with night sights here or the white like you see here. Up here, you can get a lot of different colors. Um, just look at the, at the sets. You have orange, blue, I believe there's a couple other different colors. Uh, I can't remember them all, so just go on to their site. But you can really kind of tailor to what you want. Uh, my wife and I just happen to like just the three dot three white dots setup. It works really good for us, but one good advantage of if you go white dots on the back and then go with like blue or orange on the front, you got a little bit of contrast. It might help you a little bit as far as picking up those sights. The um, sights themselves, I had them professionally installed at a uh, local gun shop and the installation is very solid. The dovetail's nice. Um, as far as the machine work, it's really nice on these sights. The um, little logos are kind of a neat little touch on the side too. I know it's small, but I kind of like some of the small little touches like that. Because that's one thing, I think these night sights look cool. Which, uh, there's nothing wrong with. There's nothing wrong with having cool stuff on a gun. The sights are well made. You still keep your uh, tabs right here. You don't have to take them off or anything. Which is a big plus for my wife. That's one of her the reasons she likes the VP9. Is those... Uh, tabs, those polymer tabs on each side of the slide. So you don't have to lose those. Those are still very secure. The night sights themselves are very crisp. And I'll try and do another video here at some point. I have to do it during nighttime hours. And I'll try to compare these with a couple other night sights that I have on my different firearms. But overall, they're priced very, very decent. Uh, pretty much they're very competitive. And I think you guys should check them out uh, as far as handgun sights go. 
I can't speak to some of their other products that they have because I haven't tried it yet. But for the VP9, I think it's a solid choice that I made to get rid of those dang gosh awful photoluminescent weird sights that come from the factory. So in any case, check them out. Uh, let me know what you all think. And if you guys are running any of this stuff, again, like I always say, post your comments whether they're good or bad so that way we can kind of get a little database of knowledge in regards to these things going on this video. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and as always, keep it safe.